How you doing, bro? I'm Tazawan. What's your name again? Marcus. Marcus, all right. So, the brother's just basically trying to give you some guidelines according to the scriptures on how to get back to your power first. Right. Because you confess it yourself. The power is God, and you got to get yourself correct, right? right? And then you serve him. That's how you get power. To gain control of your situation, or to have control according to the Bible righteously over the woman, you have to go by the Bible. You have to submit yourself to the Lord, to your power. Because we've lost our power, you understand? That power that we're talking about is some of the laws that you already keeping. But you got to keep them all in sincerity, you understand? Like the Sabbath day holy. That way, you read in the scriptures a lot, our forefather Abraham commanded his household. Right, he, right. he dictated and told his household what to do according to thus saith the Lord. So let right. me show you this real quick. Read that. The book of Sirach, chapter 33 and verse 18. Right. Hear me, O ye great men of See, the people. In the Bible, the Lord was always speaking to the men, the right. men of the Bible, because even right now, the community follow after what the men do. You understand? What's highly respected in the black and Hispanic community in these last days in 2019? The dope man. Right. The man that's smoking. The man that got his pants sagging. Right. The man that the white man sets up to be, to destroy his fellow brothers and sisters. You understand? We don't know that right now, even in these last days, we follow after exactly what the white man want us to do. Right. You think yourself is an African-American? You think we black? But God never called us that. Right. We are the Israelites. That's right. We are the Israelite people. Right. So it's a high time that the black man stand up and fight for his community. Right. Because while we sitting up here fighting each other, guess what? The white man, he playing the chessboard and winning every day. Right. Yeah. You don't realize your enemy if you calling yourself a black, a Hispanic, an African American. You right. need to realize you are the Jew. That's That's right. Right. Read this real quick. So how do you gain power, brother? The Bible gonna explain it to you. Right. We gotta stop this life of YOLO, mm -hmm. of, 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 of doing what we want to. Right. Of thinking can't no man tell us what we, listen, God ain't gonna send nobody to you that don't look like you to help save yourself. Right. That's right. God is gonna send a man, God is gonna send his own people to his own people to save them. Right. 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 The white, God ain't gonna send the white man out here to help save your soul. Right. God is gonna send his own prophets, the black man in the Bible. That's to right. To help save you. Right. That's what we're bringing out of the Bible. Right. This book is your history, man. That's right. Right. The Bible, you wrote the Bible. Right. We wrote the Bible. So we gotta connect back to the Bible. Right. So read on, come on. And hearken with your ears, ye rulers of the congregation. So what do you think was going on in the time of Christ? Jesus Christ, a black man, and the disciples, black men, they were telling the Jews, the black people today, to get themselves right with God. Right. right. But a lot of our people love to reject the knowledge. Right. You scoff against the knowledge. Get and all we're trying to do is help you. Yes. Right. We're trying to help you save yourself. Right. Yes. Because the white man ain't going to do it, man. Right. Right. Get out. Get out. So we're trying to help you save yourself. Right. We love our brothers. Right. We love our sisters. Right. We love our people. Right. But we need each other to do something about this. Right. Right. Why do we fight for civil rights? Because the white man is over us, bro. Right. Yeah. Sister, the white man is over us. Yeah. We trying to get in control, man. That's right. That's right. Read the Bible. Come on. Yeah. Read it out. Give not thy son and wife. Thy brother and friend. This is a message to the man. We ain't, we ain't out here to fight. We out here to come together and build. Right, right. The fighting should be, listen, the white man want us to fight against each other. Right. How, when are we gonna try to come together in Christ? Right. Right. Come together in the black man, the anointed, Yahweh Shai, yes. in Christ. We need to come together with the black man, Messiah. Read that again, come on. Give not thy son and wife. So I'm trying to show you, brother, you're not supposed to give your son or your wife, read on. Thy brother and friend. Your brother and friend, read. Power over what? power. What? Power. It's talking about how in your own household, you being a man, we're not supposed to give nobody else power over your house. Right. I can't come in your household and tell you what to do in your household for your family. Right. I'm not the lord of that household. Right. Likewise with the black community. We can't tell no other people how to raise our children better than we can. Right. That's why the black man in the house is important. Right. We here to build back the Israelite so-called black house structure. Read on, come on. 
Power over thee while thou livest, and give not thy goods to another. Don't give your goods to another. Don't let nobody else have dictation over your, like her father, right? Don't have her come in and dictate and having you in fear. You the man, you supposed to rule in your house. That's right. Come on. Lest it repent thee, and thou entreat for the same again. Lest it repeat, repent thee, meaning that if you give them power over you, it's gonna keep happening over and over again. It's right. not gonna stop. Somebody right. else is ruling in your own house. Right. And that's a miserable life, bro. Read right. on. As long as thou livest and hast breath in thee, uh -huh. give not thyself over to any. Don't give yourself over to enemy. Don't fall behind the eight ball. Don't let somebody else get up on you in your own house you understand and how do you control that situation you got to control your situation with the Bible right. right by being an example right and that's what the community our communities fail to have right, right. we don't have proper examples right we have examples of a life of being in prison right of selling drugs right. and thinking that we taking care of the kids but we not because right. we destroy our people with our own example right, right. Read on. come on for better it is that thy children should seek to thee. Better that your nation, your children, and your household seek to you. Right. Read. Then thou shouldest stand to their courtesy. Then you be have then you them having power over you. That's what the Bible is explaining. Mm. Because the scripture says, give me Isaiah 3, hold this what you got. The scripture says, Isaiah 3 and 12. It says that the the, the women lead over the children right and the and the and the children rule over the men you understand there's a break in nature like right now i was raised by my mama 100 percent of us out here right now was raised by our mothers nine times out of ten the daddy was not there right and that's the result of not having the man standing up in the household right the man has to stand up in the household and raise his family that's right and be a proper example. Right. We're trying to raise our children to stop the sports and take care of yourself. Be a clear thinking man. Right. Stop the drugs. Right. Stop the dope. Right. right. Stop the marijuana. Right. And be right. are their oppressors. Who oppresses us? The youngsters. Right. The old always trying to be young. You understand what I'm saying? And the young ones is always busting into the elders' houses. Right. Disrespecting their elders. Right. Disrespecting them, robbing them, killing our own. We don't take that to the other nations, to the white man, not that you should anyway. Right. But right. we oppress our own kind. Right. And that's the voice of hope that we have failed to listen to. Right. We got to understand that God is going to send people that look just like you to help save you. Right. God ain't going to send the white man. Right. The purpose of the Bible was black, bro. That's right. The purpose right. of the Bible was black. Right. Christ is black. And color does matter. That's color right. Color matter. All these brothers out here, purple and gold, we ain't here out here to fight nobody. Right. We out here to get that thought of knowledge in your head how we heard this same knowledge. Right. Right. The white man didn't come to us to give us his knowledge. A black man that looked just like us came us to us and gave us this understanding. Right. His name was Christ. That's right. It does matter what Christ looked like because God is black. Right. Your creator is black. The first man on earth was a black man. But the white man don't want you to know that. Color does matter. It right. matters. It up. matters. So how do we lose that power? We lost our heritage. Right. Is Christmas supposed to be celebrated in the Bible? Christmas is a white man's holiday. Right. We up here speak against each other, but we still celebrate the white man's holidays. Right. Yeah. We still drive around the white man's cars. Right. We still take part in the white man's Thanksgiving. Right. Yeah. And we think it's our own heritage, man. Like I said, we ain't out here against y'all. We have you to understand that you are the real Jew. Yeah. Right. This world revolves around you. Right. This world revolves around you. That's why everything, why do you think your forefathers had to fight for civil rights? Why did you have to fight for civil rights? It's because your forefathers were slaves. Right. Why do we have to fight? This is not our land. Hold what you had real quick. Give me Micah chapter 2, verse 10. Our forefathers, you got a question, sister? Absolutely, come on. I can't hardly hear you. That reason why they have that state of mind, I know it's a psychosis because of the history of slavery and all this stuff. Right. But they, to, to literally understand what they're saying, they're saying that nobody's going to come to their rescue. They're going to have guns to protect themselves. Okay. I said, well, you know, you're not, you don't have that faith. And you're not believing in the word. I said, well, why do you think they're out here? We are supposed to be protecting each other. This is if you don't come together, you got separation. Right. And I keep telling them, I said, well, you, you know, you a lot of don't want to pick the Bible. I talked to my grandson, he don't want to pick the Bible. And I told him, I said, you go 
John 1 1. It starts with that understanding. First became the word. And I said, if you don't get that understanding from, from that, right. the word is, it became into existence. And like I said, I am the Alpha and Omega, beginning and the end. They're looking at it and saying, well, you know, who's going to jump in front of a bullet to save us? I said, well, we are all going to be, the innocent is going to be sacrificed too. This is what we as a people fail to understand. That's what I'm saying. Change only happens when we do that first. Right. It starts with you first. Right. But we are, we are one in many. All right, there's many of the so-called blacks and Hispanics. You understand? One just don't do the picture. Right. You need many to do it to make a change. Right. And that's what we're trying to express to our people. Bring it out. You have to change and come back to your true heritage. Forsake the white man's heritage and his culture. Right. Stop defending it with your cuss words and your anger and your frustration and change yourself right. to change the outcome of your people. Right. And that's the common knowledge that we're trying to get to our people too. It's not going to be by a gun. Right. Your gun ain't going to say, listen, the white man make the bullets for the gun. Bring that up. How you gonna save him? How you gonna save yourself against the white man that make the gun and the bullets? Right. That don't make no sense. We need a superpower to overcome a superpower. Right. Yes, we waiting for a black man to crack the sky and save us right. because he told us to. Now give me that in Zechariah real quick. Now my mic. Right we on. Come on. The book of Zechariah, chapter 4 and verse 6. Then he answered and spake unto me. The Lord answered and spake unto the men, the sons of man, the prophets of God. Right. Black men, read. Saying, this is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel. Come on. Saying, not by might. It's not by might. It's not by military might or fighting. This is not how you're going to overcome. Because we try to overcome. Look at the Black Panthers. Look how the white man infiltrated with the white woman and drugs and destroyed the Black Panthers. Right. That didn't work. We came together. We came. Listen, Black Panthers is not thriving like it used to. Brother, there was a time in history where the Black Panthers police. Listen, I'm just listen to me real quick. Just listen to me real quick. There was a time where the Black Panthers police the police. Sister, am I wrong? Am I wrong? They made sure that the black man was being taken care of right if they was in failure to the white man's laws. Right. We were standing on the side with shotguns right, right next to the white man to make sure that that brother's life didn't get taken care of. Right. Don't get taken from him. Right. You understand? It has been infiltrated by, who, who was it? Harry Newton? What was his name? Harry B. Newton? Who, 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 Harry B. Newton? Yeah. They killed those men. They destroyed those men. Why? Because they lied, infiltrated, and said that he was he was doing drugs. Right. They killed him in his own house. Right. Anytime the black man organized, and every time you are divided, they love it when you were divided. Right. But anytime you're unified, they try to destroy you. Right. They destroy you. They destroy you. That's why we have, we say, Israel united in Christ, a black man. Right. Because they love to see you divided. Right. But once you are united, guess what happens? They know how to destroy you. Right. Yeah. But our people hate to be united because they're still in the divided type of mind state. Right. Yeah. Read on, come on. Nor by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. So it's not by weapons, it's not by might, it's not by power of guns, but by the Lord's power. Right. But read that from the top again, read on. The book of Zechariah, chapter 4 and verse 6. Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might. Not by might, not by force, not by fighting. Read on. Nor by because we tried that. We tried fighting. Right. We, we even tried peace. Right. Martin Luther King tried nonviolence, and that did not work. Right. We tried everything we can to have peace in this land of slavery. Right. And it don't work. Right. Right. After slavery, we were sharecropping. Right. The white man made a way for us to be free, but then he found a way for us to get right back to be slaves. Right. Sharecropping. That's when we was being paid to pick the cotton. All these things, they craft against us. They think against us so that we stay in that loop, bro. Right. Why do you think you need a passport to leave this country? Bring it up. Because you being an African-American, you're still his slave. Right. right. What, what is an African? What is an American? Not us. 
That's right. Do you read what God said, you Africans and you Americans? No, you don't read that. Right. But what I'm trying to express is that we're going back to the nat the, the natural name that we was given. Right. right. The sons and daughters of God. Right. Right. That's right. The sons and daughters of the Creator. Right. And in the last days, the Lord said we'd be just like this in these conditions. Right. We'd be just like this. Come on, read on. Nor, listen, we ain't out here to fight a tussle. We got to come to common ground that we don't have all the answers and come up with a common solution. Right. We got to stop the hype. We got to stop. We got to stop the rap. We got to stop this normal way of life. What we suffer from as a people is a result of slavery. Right. We suffer from slavery, man. Right. That's what it is. No matter what nobody telling you, everybody think they got God. Everybody think they got the right message until you actually study. Right. And show the actions of what you study. Read on. Come on. Nor by power, uh -huh. but by my spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. By God's spirit. That's the only way we're going to overcome. Right. Give me that real quick. Isaiah 51 verse 20. I know I'm being long-winded. But it's all right. The Lord brought us out here for a reason. But like I said, even the innocents going to be going to suffer. The Lord said that. But in the time of coming for peace, they're sitting up here thinking, well, their plan is it's going to be perfected. And you in this land of your enemy, you in the new Egypt. Sisters, yes. You are absolutely correct. Our brothers who are the leaders of our community, they don't realize that they still slaves. Right. And you sisters, y'all are waiting for us to stand up. Right. Y'all waiting for us to stand up. The women in our community and the children waiting for our brothers to stand up because y'all are the power. Right. Y'all the power. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.